If you're looking for something fun to do this Mother's Day weekend, why not try some mad science? Mad Science Minnesota manager Vicki Schaffner shows us some fun experiments kids and parents can do together. Hey Vicki, great to have you with us. This is the perfect time for kids and parents to try to something, uh, do something fun that also maybe has a little bit of learning component to it. <laughs> It absolutely is, and thank you so much um, for letting uh, Mad Science in Minnesota um, help teach our kids. Mm -hmm. um, it's so good for them to have something hands-on and something they can do for their mothers um, for Mother's Day coming up. So I've got two quick experiments that I'd love to show you. All right, it's what every mother wants is their kids to mess yes. up their house on Mother's Day <laughs> by doing science experiments. Yes. Well, hopefully somebody can, they'll be good kids and clean it up too. <laughs> exactly. So the first thing we're going to make is a wonder turner. Now, um, um, I printed off this great photo of my mother and I, and I made it much smaller. This is at a Twins game a long time ago. Cute. And then I printed off a picture, uh, a blue heart, because blue is her favorite color. And I cut them out. Just going to use a little blue stick here to put them together. Now what we're using here is persistence of vision and I'll explain that in a minute. Next thing you're gonna do is just take a pencil, mm -hmm. poke a couple holes in it. Okay, just like that. Then you're gonna take string of some kind. So it could be fishing line or dental floss or I have cooking twine right here. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna tie it to two, two strings, one on each end. And what you have here at the end is a wonder turner or a thumb throat in oh, Greek. Oh, fun. <laughs> and you gotta rev it up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. But then once you get it revved up, you go like this. And now you see my mom and I inside a blue heart as it's uh... going. And that persistence of vision, what happens is the human eye holds on to an image for about 1 16th of a second. So if you flip it fast enough, it sees both things at the same time. Cool. Great. What else do you have down there for us? I see a lot of liquids I, down there. I have a little, uh, I don't know about you, but I loved concerts, putting on concerts <laughs> when I was a kid. So I thought some um, kids might want to be able to do a little musical tribute to their mom. So we've got five glasses here. They, sh they can all be the same size. I brought a shorter one just to show you for the, the empty one that you could change it up um, and test out the sounds without it. I added some water colors, uh, I mean food colors, excuse me, um, just to you know, make it bright um, and, and fun. And what you do is you add a quarter cup, half cup, three quarters cup, and one cup um, to the glasses. And you can play the water. Now what you wanna teach the kids here is that atoms uh, make up everything and sound moves through atoms. So, but the, the the vibrations in the glass change the way it sounds. So the quicker vibrations have a higher pitch. So the more water in the glass, the lower the sound because uh, the lower vibrations have a lower pitch. Cool. Uh, maybe they can all the siblings get to do get together, do a little water concert with right. a tambourine. <laughs> Who knows what else? Make your own songs there too. Uh, you also have more uh, um, things on your website as well. Absolutely. We're at mn.madscience.org. Um, I also share uh, fun little experiments like this that you could do with your kids all the time on our Facebook page. We're really trying to do everything we can to support parents during this time of distance learning. Yeah. So since we can't be out there in the community right now. Yeah. Well, Very parents good. and kids appreciate that. <laughs> Indeed. Very good. Thanks, Vicki. All right, Vicki, great stuff there. WCCO.com slash links will get you to the Facebook page for Mad Science Minnesota so you can see those fun experiments.